Did you know that during pregnancy, a mother's heart grows and her bones get softer? Today, we're talking about one of the most mind-blowing things a human body can do. Grow another human. We'll go step by step, from the moment of conception all the way to after birth, and I'll share some facts that most people have never heard before. Let's start right at the beginning, before anyone even realizes they're pregnant. Weeks 1 to 4. At first, nothing looks different, but inside, everything's changing. Right after the egg is fertilized, it sends out a chemical message called HCG. That little signal basically tells the body, hey, don't start the next period, we've got something going on here. This flips a switch that keeps the uterus from shedding its lining. Almost immediately, the immune system starts to calm down, because the body now carries something that's technically half someone else's DNA. Normally, the immune system would attack it, but it learns to tolerate the embryo. Then there's the temperature thing. The hormone progesterone makes body temperature rise a little. Some people who track their temp for fertility can actually spot the pregnancy before a test does. And before a missed period, the body's already making more blood, getting ready to support both parent and baby. Month 2. By now, hormones are going wild. Estrogen, progesterone, and HCG all skyrocket. That's what causes the famous nausea, tiredness, and mood swings. But there's a reason for all of it. Fun fact, digestion slows down on purpose. The body wants to pull every possible nutrient out of food for the growing baby. The sense of smell becomes super strong, like superhero level strong. This probably evolved to help detect spoiled or toxic foods. That's why certain smells suddenly make pregnant people gag. The breasts start changing fast too. They're building new tissue to prepare for milk production months in advance. And by the end of the first trimester, the uterus has doubled in size, even though the baby is still tiny. Month 3 to 4. Here's where it gets fascinating. Scientists have done brain scans of pregnant people and found that pregnancy literally changes the brain's structure. Parts of the brain that handle emotions, empathy, and social awareness become more connected. It's like the brain's rewiring itself to prepare for caring for a baby. That pregnancy brain forgetfulness people joke about? It's real. The brain is temporarily focusing more on emotions and instincts, less on small details. Meanwhile, the heart grows bigger and beats faster, pumping up to 50% more blood than usual. So if you've ever wondered why pregnant people often feel out of breath, it's because their bodies are doing double duty. Month 5 to 6. Now the changes become more visible, but also more surprising. The rib cage actually expands so the lungs have more room to move as the baby grows. And the hormone relax and starts loosening joints, especially in the pelvis, to prepare for birth. Fun twist, relax and affects the whole body, not just the hips. Even your feet can get bigger, sometimes permanently. Skin changes too. That dark line on the belly, called linea nigra, and the so-called pregnancy glow come from extra blood flow and hormones that boost melanin, the pigment in skin. And here's one most people don't know. The voice can change. Extra fluid and hormones can slightly swell the vocal cords, making the voice deeper or softer. Month 7. By the third trimester, the baby's taking up a lot of space. The uterus pushes up on the lungs, but here's the cool part. The body adapts. You don't necessarily breathe faster, you breathe deeper. That brings in more oxygen for both you and the baby. The kidneys also step up their game, filtering about 50% more fluid than before. That's why bathroom trips multiply, especially at night. The extra fluid can cause mild swelling in the hands and feet, which is uncomfortable but totally normal. It's the circulatory system working overtime. Month 8. Now the body's in full preparation mode. The pelvis loosens even more. That's why some people start walking with that classic pregnancy waddle. Breasts may start leaking a yellowish liquid called colostrum. That's the first version of milk, packed with antibodies for the newborn. Some people feel tingling or numbness in their hands. It's pregnancy carpal tunnel, caused by swelling that puts pressure on nerves. And get this, the placenta, the temporary organ that feeds the baby, 
produces more estrogen each day than a non-pregnant body makes in three years. It's basically a hormone factory. Month nine. Now it's showtime prep. The cervix starts to soften and thin out. That's called effacement, long before real labor begins. The Braxton Hicks contractions people feel are like practice rounds. They're training the uterus for the big event. The baby's movement may slow down a little, not because anything's wrong, but simply because there's less room left to wiggle. The body starts producing more oxytocin, the hormone of love and bonding. It's the same hormone that will trigger real labor contractions and also help create emotional connection with the baby. And here's a fun little mystery. Some people's sense of smell becomes super strong again right before labor. Scientists think it helps new parents instantly recognize their newborn scent. Birth. Labor is intense. The body goes into overdrive. Uterine contractions can produce up to 100 pounds of pressure per square inch, about the same force as a heavyweight boxer's punch. To help cope with that, the body releases endorphins, natural painkillers that are even stronger than morphine. And once the baby arrives, a flood of oxytocin, dopamine, and prolactin hits the brain, creating a rush of love, relief, and connection, often called the maternal high. After birth. Most people think the story ends at birth, but the body's still transforming. Within hours, blood volume drops, sometimes making new parents sweaty or dizzy. The uterus starts shrinking right away, going from the size of a watermelon to a grapefruit in just a few days. Hormones crash faster than at any other time in life. Estrogen and progesterone drop to near zero, which can cause mood swings or the baby blues. Around two to three months later, hair shedding begins. It's not hair loss, it's just your body letting go of all the extra hair it held onto during pregnancy. And here's one of the most amazing facts of all. Tiny bits of the baby's cells, actual DNA, stay inside the parent's body for life. Scientists call it microchimerism. These cells can even help repair organs or strengthen the immune system. So in a way, the child literally becomes part of the parent forever. Pregnancy isn't just about growing a baby. It's a total body transformation that changes the heart, the brain, the bones, and even the cells that stay with you for life. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more fascinating science about the human body.